I bet you guys didn't know just how easy it is to make, look, a honey bourbon glazed ham, right? I'm gonna call it a honey glazed ham. Look, this is the same thing that you get when you go stand them long lines or you call three or four weeks ahead of a uh, holiday trying to get you one of these. Look, I'm finna show you what's happening. Now, this recipe right here is in my cookbook. I wanna show you guys, look, it's a hardback. It's available right now. You guys can see, this is more of a high-end table book. You know what I mean? Got high glossy pictures in the inside. You know what I mean? Even to put in some drinks in here also. You guys just check it out. Now, before we do anything, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven. We're gonna hit bake, 325, and start. Now, as the, you know, oven is coming up to temp, right? I'm gonna go ahead and take my ham. Look, you can see from it just sitting right here and resting, it just started to, you know, relax and re reduce some of its, uh, you know, juices, right? Now, obviously, if you look at this, this is already spiral cut. I like to try to find them when they're not spiral cut. That way I can cut them, do my diagonal, get my slices, make little holes for my clothes and all of that. But since I'm gonna be using a cooling rack and we got some juices already down, I don't do nothing with this first layer. I just leave it like it is, right? And we're gonna place it face down. Face down. Now here's a, here's a little trick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna steam this, right? So. I put some foil down there just so we don't want nothing like to burn and nothing like that, but by us putting the water, it's going to dilute it anyway. So I just put about a cup of water in here, right? Just down at the bottom. It's going to all make sense to you. Then I'm going to get some aluminum foil, right? And I'm going to cover this. I'm going to cover it so it can trap some of the steam and just we want to steam it from the face and just heat it up. Now when you buy, when you guys buy them like this, you know this is already cooked, right? You can go ahead and make yourself a cold sandwich, stick it in the microwave, heat it up, however you want to do it. But we want to infuse it with that, you know, with that flavor, right? So, if you guys want to tell me down in the comment section below, I'm going to show it to you two ways. Look at my foil. Tell me which way do we supposed to work? Is it supposed to be the dull side or the shiny side? I'll wait. Now, for real, I'm going to go ahead and give up the game. Look, we're going to go ahead and just do it like this. The shiny side stay up. All right? And I'm just going to go just like this. And that's enough. I might put another piece over here because this part is open. But I just want to put a little tin over there so it'll steam, catch it all, keep it nice and moist. All right, so look, I put another one on the top of this, right? So I went this way, like the plus pattern, right? Just, that's cool. We got the water in the inside. I'm at 325. I'm getting ready to put this in there. And we're going to go ahead and let this start to steam and to warm up. All right? So when I say 20 minutes, that's the first 20. Okay, so we're about five minutes, you know, for the from the first 20 minutes, right? So now we're getting ready to make our little glaze, right? I'm gonna start off with it low. I just wanna melt my butter. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter to it. Now remember, the first 20 minutes is only really about just heating up the ham. You guys probably had it in the refrigerator. You know what I mean? So we just wanna heat it up, get it nice and warm. So once we go ahead and put a little, a little coat on there, we want it to like just run and do its thing, right? All right, now we got our butter melted, right? So now we're just going to put the rest of our ingredients in. Now this one here, I'm going to do it the right way. You know how you're supposed to put it in, then pack it. That's the way we're going to do it, right? So we pack that in there. I'm going to let get this going. Let that start, you know, melting, doing this thing. Then we're going to come with our honey. I've been putting honey in so long and, you know, working with it. I don't need to, like, measure it. And then after that, we're going to come with our bourbon. Now this part right here, you can completely, you know, skip you know this is really up to you but if you're looking for that unique taste those of you guys that love to have that peach that bourbon peach cobbler this right here is it now i'm gonna go ahead and raise my temperature up right because i want to get this i'm gonna put it at about a medium medium flame reason being because i want this to go ahead and you know i want to bring it up to a boil right now when it comes to the bourbon listen i'm gonna go ahead and measure this out we're gonna put a half a cup in now that's gonna look like a lot to you guys but don't forget we're gonna cook the liquor out right so, okay, so you see it, it's boiling, right? We starting to cook some of that, you know, bourbon, you know, flavor, you know, leaving that in there and we cooking some of the alcohol flavor out of it, right? The alcohol. Now, what we want to do is we do this for about, about two to three minutes. And then after that, then I'm going to take it off. It's still going to be a little bit on the liquidy side, you know what I mean? But don't worry. We just want to brush it and we want to infuse it with that, you know, with that savory ham, and we finna make something magical. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my brush and just start to, you know, let this run down the side, let this start to, you know, bake in. Now, this is a 10 pound, you know, ham, right? 
So this is probably going to take close to about three hours, right? And don't forget, the full recipe is in my newest cookbook. This is my standalone. You guys got to go out and get it. Listen, I'm still signing them. So guaranteed you get one before Christmas, go ahead and copy yourself one. It's on Smoking and Grilling with AB.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. Now, let me put this back inside. And then I'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Every 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and do a little baste. This is 30 minutes in, right? I'm going to break my brush. And then look, as you let your glaze, you know, sit around, you know, as it just sits, right? You see it starts to thicken up, but we want to go ahead and get this on here. Now, if you pay attention down here, because we put it down face down on this one here, I'm going to take this and just put some inside of here, you know? It'll be a little bit on the warm side, but don't worry. You guys will be able to, you know, handle it. Now, you see this right here? This is making sure that when I go ahead and I get myself a slice, those are done, right? So we're gonna do this every 30 minutes until it reaches the internal temp of about 140. So I'm gonna probably do this for at least, you know, four or five more times. But you see what I'm doing? We finna put this aluminum tin on here and then we're gonna continue the process. Now, I'm not gonna show it to you no more until after we get ready to take it out, but you got it. I don't wanna like just make it like super redundant. It just take a little bit of time, but I promise you the end result is well worth it. All right, folks, so let me just go ahead and check it, see where we at. Let me just bring it around so I can see it. It say 125 there. Now you see right here, it says 128. It just dropped from 130. 130 is good, right? That tell me right now, this baby is ready to uh, set up for the broil. Now, what we're gonna do is put a little color, put a little edge. That's that flavor too. So you know, when we talk about fine, that's what we're gonna do, put a little fine on the edge. Ain't really fine, it's just like a lot of flavor. What it's gonna do is caramelize the sugars, you know, that brown sugar, and just make this nice, folks. Okay, so what I did was I just uprighted it, right? Well, I'm not really uprighted it. You know what I mean? I just set it on this side, right? So now, I wanna go ahead and put some of this on here because I just set my oven to broil, right? So we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. You know what I mean? And get a little caramelization going. But you see this right here? And you see the way she is? Look. Yes, sir. All right, so look, my, my oven is up, right? I got it set on broil. We're gonna put it in here and we not finna walk away, right? Like I said, we got those brown sugars in there and it will caramelize real quick and get black on you, right? So you see that right there? I know some of y'all right now looking for that bread and getting ready to put it on the screen. Now, this is cool just enough so I can touch it. I'm getting ready to open this and I'm gonna keep my eyes on it and watch the edges, right? As soon as I see it start to, you know, like boil on the top, that's when I'm gonna take it out. I promise you, if you wait, once you see that and you wait one minute, it's gonna turn black on you. Nothing wrong with it, but listen, for your presentation, you just want it to be right. Okay, folks, look at the masterpiece. I don't know if you guys can tell right now, but you see that already? I done already tore something off and did that. You know, did that, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just tear a little bit of this off right here, you know? Ooh, I felt no. I left a couple of layers down there. But I don't know about y'all, but the best thing about ham and even turkey is when you make them, them sandwiches, folks. Now, you're looking to do something different, you know, for the, I guess this is more really like traditional for like Christmas, you know, like a Christmas ham, right? I'm not finna over talk it, we finna enjoy this, folks. Mm, mm, mm. This right here is the way to go, folks. I don't know what else to uh, say. Listen, you put one of these out, do a couple of Cornish hens, which I'm getting ready to make some of those and put those out right before, you know, Christmas. So your boy AB got you covered. 
Don't forget, the cookbook is on my website, Smoking and Grilling with AB. That's W-I-T-A-B.com, right? You guys can go by there, check out some of the recipes, you know what I mean? This right here get you covered, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't want to like over talk it, but I want to tell you this right here is the way to go. Now, if you're new to my channel, I'm going to just say it like this. Listen, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm going to do, folks? I'm off to the pantry. I'm finna get a couple of slices of uh, thick Texas toast. I'm finna hit it with a little mayo. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm gonna put some of this warm ham on that. And guess what? I'm finna sit down with a glass of grape Kool-Aid. And you know what? I'm gonna exit this way. I'm out. Peace.